I remember back in the, uh, December 2004, um, I was working for Sprint and they decided to call me up one day out of the blue because of all the politics and everything else and said that they were firing me. <laughs> um, so the latter part of December, they said they were firing me from my job. And um, they they wanted me, they, they thought, I guess they thought it would make, you know, it would make me feel sad or whatever else. Little did they know, that single month, uh, letting you guys know when I first got into, decided to go into entrepreneurship and work totally for myself and say screw a job, that single month, I did almost $13,000 on eBay, that one month, December 2004, I'll never forget that, I still got the bank statement to this day to show the proof, at any rate, they fired me. <laughs> I got up. I went on there, got my stereo that I had in there at the um, store, and told them deuces. Never came back. You know, I remember back in uh, 2000, um, November 2006, um, I went flat broke from an investment I made. Flat broke. I mean, I literally had like $1,200 left in my name. And um, my business partner and I, we went down to Atlanta. And we bought a gold tooth kit for 110 bucks. And six months later, we profited over $30,000 just by passing out business cards and people calling us left and right from all over the place. No store, or anything. Just doing it. 30 grand, six months, we profited. But I had friends and family members that told me I couldn't do it. I remember in 2007, I went to the doctor, I was weighing 230 pounds, and I said, you know what, I'm going to lose this weight. I've kept it off for years. I weigh the same amount of weight that I wore when I was 19 years old. But they said I couldn't do it because in my family, most people, uh, you know, they say not gen genetically, we, we are, we're genetically prone to be overweight. Not true. Um... You know, I went from uh, working for working for a store, a cell phone store, to owning two cell phone stores. Um, my last cell phone store it almost made me bankrupt. The first one was great, but I couldn't keep people from breaking in. The second one, um, great location, but because of the economy, almost made me bankrupt. And then I ran into Motor Club of America, which introduced me to internet marketing. And you know. It's a great opportunity. I love it. But I make no excuses. And my point is, guys, if you want something, go out there and go after it. Right now, I'm tired of Facebook. I got off of Facebook today. You guys looking at my thread on you know, my wall. You see the stuff that I put out there. And I put that out there because I want people to understand that, hey, your negative thought and your negative little dumb views of the world have no effect on me. You're not going to get me down. You're not going to make me feel bad. I'm not easily broken. I'm still the same happy guy. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to leave out here now. I'm going to do some offline marketing. Why? Because your little thoughts of the world is not going to stop me from achieving my goals. You know, I remember my wife and I, my business partner and his wife, um, middle of the summer, it was about 1.30 in the afternoon, and I was sitting down at the restaurant that they have on the middle of the in the middle of the Chesapeake Bay in Virginia, and um, I was eating swordfish. I never forget that day. It was a beautiful day, and I told my wife, "This is life. Not being bounded by dogma. Not being um, being told what to do. This is life, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes." to maintain that type of a lifestyle you know without hurting anybody of course I don't make no excuses I don't even accept excuses Tyree said it best excuses only sound good to people that's saying them I even tell my kids excuses are out the window if you want it go get it period guys don't let anybody take away your greatness you go out there and you make it happen I will never let a person take away my greatness anyhow I didn't mean for this video to go that long just want to give you guys some inspiration 
Desmond Collins, Team Million Dollar Movement. Peace.